You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. After Buzz TV. After Buzz TV. From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's I Wanna Marry Harry After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's I Wanna Marry Harry After Show. Hey. I love it. Hey. I love it. I see you. I see you. My, my song pick. My song pick. I'm taking credit. <laughs> That's a great choice. What's up, everybody? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We have another episode. This is the one and only after show for I Want to Marry Harry. This is the second episode titled Competing for the Crown. I am your host, Lim Gonzalez, and I'm so happy because I have some wonderful people here with me. We have the very dapper Mr. Aaron Molina. Hello, 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 everybody. And of course, the very beautiful and talented uh, Miss Tracy Probst. What's up, guys? Yes, so um, I'm, I'm just, I, I, we gotta dive right in. But first, before we do that, um, can we have a moment of silence for Leah? Yes. Just a moment oh, yeah. of silence, yeah. Yes. She's gone. Um, I was really sad to see her go last week. Um, but you know, I, I think he made the right choice. What do you think? I'm still, I yeah. still don't think he made the right choice. No? I feel like out of all the girls, she was the most genuine in yeah. that, you know, out of all of them, she was probably the realist. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's because her personality type's kind of in, and I'm kind of in that. Right, but she wasn't very into what was going on, and I think that's what he caught. Wow. I have a little article that might change your mind oh, a little really? bit later. Yes, oh, yes, Okay, yes, well, yes. we'll get into we'll news and gossip. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll talk get about into it a little it. bit later. Well, what would you think, Tracy? Um, I just want to say we missed you last week. Okay, um, I, yeah. I missed you guys too. We but really you guys did an amazing you. doc. <laughs> amazing job. Just had to give you that little shout out. Yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. But, okay, Leah, I've talked a lot about Leah last week. I had mixed feelings about her in general, but. I do think she needed to go home because mm -hmm. I don't think that it was the right situation for her. I yeah. did like her as a person, but right. you know, she was just kind of she wasn't the one. Right. The one. Mm -hmm. So. I think so. I yeah. think so. But we're talking about this episode, yes, so let's dive are. in. And uh, it starts off with um, you have you know Miss Rose, who was the one that won the suite last mm -hmm. week. Uh, so she um, is in the suite and she's getting ready, and um, it's great because like you know she's brushing her teeth, and then um, Mr. Um, Prince Harry, we'll use in quotes, or yes. not really the prince as they do it in the show, I love it. Um, uh, Matt uh, Hicks comes in and she's like, oh my gosh. She's all like, oh, you see me brushing my teeth. Like no one brushes their teeth, like, I mean, really. Yeah. But um, it's just funny, but she's just really ecstatic and she just goes right in and has breakfast with him and then she starts asking him all these questions. What are you, what are you thinking of Rose right now? I think I'm changing my my view on her just uh -huh. a tad bit in the sense that um, she wasn't as giddy mm -hmm. and as animated as she was last week. Because right. last week, I mean, maybe the way it was edited, the whole episode I was just like, she's just too much. Right. Like, you know, and maybe it's the preschool teacher background, thing, right. but it was just like a right. lot of energy. But this one, as you kind of got to see her um, kind of go on that date with him and kind mm -hmm. of start kind of probing him and asking a bunch of questions. And I was like, all right, cool. I'm kind of. Not as against you as I was last week. Not as I was like a, totally against her, but right. just in the sense that I'm on board with her a little bit more now. She, I mean, she definitely is standing out. Yeah. Um, you know, she did profess to be the naughty teacher, as you yeah. will, last episode. So I think she's definitely one of the ones. And I think anytime you have these type of shows, the people that are most aggressive gets the most attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's just really the name of the game. Yeah. If you're on the back seat, they don't get to know you. So then you end up getting eliminated. Yeah. Or, you know, maybe further down the line or what have you. So she's definitely making her presence known. And I think, you know, that's why he's, he's, yeah. he's digging. Um, so of course she's you know she's doing her thing. Uh, they're having breakfast, um, and then they end up going on a helicopter ride, mm -hmm. um, and they're sitting in the helicopter. And I love how Matt is like just so calm, like he does this <laughs> all the time. Right. And she asks him like, "Oh, so you know you, you're used to? Oh, yes, I am. It's, you know, every now and again we do this, like every second Tuesday. I mean, you know, he's just so <laughs> calm. Like I'm really interested on what is in his mind because you can see him kind of thinking, but it's interesting." 
interesting, like, what is going on? What, what do you think, Tracy? Like, how do you think he's he's acting right I now? I honestly think some of his comments are too planted. Like, yeah. personally, I think, like, when he's saying stuff and trying to throw stuff in there, like, so nonchalant. Right. To me, it's not coming off nonchalant. Like, it looks too rehearsed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is. Okay, so duh. We know right. why. But I just, I think he kind of... I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. Oh, right. a royal date. I mean, I don't know. I, I wouldn't be falling for it. If it was me, I would kind of be like, dude, like, really, this is so rehearsed going Tracy, on right I now. think you're too smart to be on this show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I mean, I didn't say that really. I did. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, he obviously, they, you know, the way it's done, he has to be this incognito kind of eye spy kind of character, not give too much. Well, he did slip a little bit, which we'll get into, but he just, he has, he's been formatted to do that. See, the thing that, that Tracy was talking about, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like jumping off from it, is that it's almost interesting because I, I think she's kind of pointing out something that's actually true for all of us as mm -hmm. audience members, is that we're really not really interested in the fact that whether he's going to, you know, what's going on with him internally, right, you know what I mean? Right. It's more so, are these girls really going to buy it? Because mm -hmm. when that all that happened, the show kind of took a shift for me. Mm -hmm. You know, personally, I was just thinking in my head, like, this show seems to be about them convincing these girls right. for as long as they can that he is Prince Harry, you know? Mm. And so, yeah, like, it just seems like, it seems boring when you're, like, yeah. when, you, when he, like you said, he see all these things right. seem planted. Right. But it's still in the sense you're still kind of thinking, like, is he going to mess this up? Like, that's right. what I'm kind of interested in him. Like, at what point is he going to just let it out and, you know, and it's going to be a big mess? And well, he, speaking of, clean it up. yeah, speaking of messing up, you know, they're on their date. I think in a hotel, they're they're at the beach, um, you know, all nice. And then he kind of walks in. They're walking in, and he says, uh, um, "What does he say?" He says, um, "Oh, this is what royals do." Yeah. So it was like he kind of gave away that he's some type of royalty, yeah. right. which you know I think was a Freudian slip. He didn't mean to do that, but he did. And I think it's going to be really hard and challenging, like you were saying, for him to keep this up because he has to play two roles. Mm -hmm. He has to you know be himself and let these girls see who he really is. Is, exactly. But at the same time, he has to hold up this facade as Prince Harry. Yeah. Right. Well, he is like, I mean, he did say that he is going to be planting seeds like right. throughout so that, you know, I think he said that on purpose. Yeah. I don't think that was a Freudian slip. I think he purposely you said. You think so? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think he purposely mm -hmm. said that, oh, it's what royals do. <laughs> like, yeah, and just kind of, you know, <laughs> and then wanted said, to like, see oh, what I didn't she mean would to do. Say, uh, right. Yeah. So I think it was on, I think. You think it was on purpose. I think it was on purpose. And I think that he's just kind of trying. No one. Okay. Let's be honest. I really don't think anyone's interested anymore if he's going to find love. I think everyone's interested on how long this is actually going to be. Yeah, able to hold up. Like, a, no one's like, oh, is he yeah. gonna find true love? Who's right. his perfect match? No, right. it's like she's mean, she's mean. They're all mean girls. How long can he hold this up? For? Right. Yeah, that like for a moment when that was going on, it almost just slipped my mind. I said that this was a show about finding love. Mm -hmm. It was just more so like, I think, how long is this gonna go on for? <laughs> like, and how, like, what creative ways they're gonna figure out to right. just really just make these girls believe that. Because they still have not even said that it's Prince Harry. No, it, I mean, I, I, he has not confirmed that. Yeah, no. and I totally thought last week, I was like, oh, you know, second episode, they will. They'll say they it. still have not said anything. And so how long is it going to go? Are they just going to let them believe it the whole time and never say... Well, I, I, in, in my opinion, I think that the reason why they're doing it this way mm -hmm. is that way he doesn't have to necessarily, we'll use quotes, mm -hmm. he doesn't have to lie. He doesn't yeah. have to actually say. Like they said, oh. they're letting them fester. And like when the scene where, which we'll get into in a second, when they whisk him away, it was like allowing them to talk and make this for themselves. Mm -hmm. So that way, when it comes down to the end of the show, when he has a few girls and he gets to actually do the expose, they can be like, oh, well, you told us. Well, I didn't actually say that. Yeah. But it's, I mean, it's still manipulating. Yeah. No, At the end of the absolutely. day, it's still manipulation. So. Um, but anyway, he they um, come back from the beach, and of course, uh, while they're at the beach, the girls are at the pool, and they're kind of doing their you know chip chat talking. And um, I love how like when they're at the beach, they're like, oh, but he's lovely, but he's kind of a bit pale. Like, <laughs> what what did you expect? Like, I mean, what he's I mean, I mean, like, what do you? Is, it, it's hilarious. Yeah. Um, she and she's not really that dark either, so I don't know why she was saying that. I think it was se. like a superficial comment. Yeah. I just want to throw that out there. Like I think it was just kind of is another like example of how mm -hmm. the girls are very superficial and right. very into looks and right. not really interested in getting to know him at all. Just trying. Mm -hmm. It's like a game for them now. Mm -hmm. So literally, the game is to find out like who can find out if it's Prince Harry or not, and right. like what are you going to do with that information. So it just uh. like let you get back on track, but I just think that it was a very superficial comment that mm -hmm. she made and it just kind of proved the point of all the girls. I mean, right. 
Well, I mean, obviously they're there because they think he's, you know, royalty. Right. At the end of the day, I don't think any of them, you know, I mean, at this point, maybe further down the line, they fall in love. But um, <laughs> but I think at this point, they're all there because, or they all want to be interested in him because they think he's royalty. That's, I mean, let's keep it real. The name of the show is I Want to Marry Harry, mm -hmm. not I Want to Marry Matt Hicks. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. So um, the girls are at the pool. They're doing their thing. They come back. Um, and then it's an interesting thing. Um, this one, he gets whisked away. So they're talking. And then all of a sudden you have these SUVs come running in and they whisk him away uh, and then he's like oh I gotta go and you see him kind of smirking like he's not believing this <laughs> but and I think he's gonna give it away all the time like I, I, I agree with you because I'm like how is he gonna hold this in I mean yeah. this guy cleans oil spills <laughs> he's not an actor yeah. he's just he cleans oil spills he's a regular guy you know 23 whatever and so um, this is big time for him he has to pull this off he had some training but at the end of the day he's still a human being and this is not something he's used to so what Exactly. What did you think about that scene when when they whisked him away? Did you think that was believable to the girls? I think it was. You they think were so? all because I mean the only girl that was with him was was Kimberly, right? right. She was the one that was kind of pulled aside, exactly. and then the other girls were off uh, elsewhere. I think it's just adding one, once again to that giant mix of, of mm -hmm. the producers just really manipulating the girls mm -hmm. and and letting, like you said, letting them talk amongst themselves, and it's kind of. Almost as if like you're just adding a little bit of fire to you know, and then just kind of letting it just take right, over. Right. You know that they think so they're ready for the brush fire to become a full forest fire eventually. Right. That's what they're looking for. I don't know. Well, kind of what I would think like being a girl, I'm. I would be like, am I in danger? Right. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> you guys are just taking him away, and you're just gonna leave all of us here. Like, That's a good point. Do you know what I mean? Like, literally, the castle's gonna get burnt down, and she just sits there and is like, "Bye." Like, I'm like, wait, go with him. <laughs> See, you, you were you were thinking how Chelsea was thinking. Remember, right. she was like, "Are they taking over the world?" Right. We're like, right. We're taking over the world, and we're, we're here on um, and this right. English estate. That's what she was. She was fearing for her life. That's what so she got. hilarious. I would probably be the same thing. Like, yeah. uh, should I run? Should she I? Was be <laughs> now she she probably was also wondering where Connor and side of fries were. Also, yeah, exactly. I think like are they gonna bring his fries? Like that was the best comment last week. I just have shout Never. out shout out to uh, yeah Chelsea. Connor side of fry. <laughs> Uh, she's amazing. Uh, Chelsea Brookshire, <laughs> Carnage yes. Side of Fries. Yes. Um, wow. Yeah, so, I, I, and I think that's a good point, as you just said, as a woman, you'd be like, am I supposed to be in danger? Like, what's going on? Because <laughs> yeah. that is, I mean, if you think about it, if you're in that, obviously we see and we're like, oh, it's kind of mm, chippy, whatever. But that would seem like it would be a dangerous situation if you're involved there. Yes, mm. if you believe the situation is right. real, then exactly. you would be a little, like, I mean, <laughs> the girls, I don't know, that's why another thing why I'm like, they can't believe this is real. They're yeah. all like, what's going on? Oh my right. god, it is the prince. Is he royalty? Like, right. I'm like, girl, run. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Hide no. your kids, hide your wife. They're taking princes. None, yeah. of, them, none <laughs> of them were thinking, are we in danger? Right. All right. their comments were like, well, he has to be royal. Right. Like, that's, that was like, they were just going on to the next thing. Like, well, he exactly. must be. So, oh yeah. Gosh, the, the world's on fire. Right. And they're like, am I going to marry Harry? Am I going <laughs> to be chosen? Is he coming back? Like, yeah. I just want to know because I want to marry him. <laughs> um, anyway, so. Um, an interesting shift happened. So then Rose, uh, after everything kind of settles down, he comes back uh, and he's looking all dapper. I know you, you know, said he looked yes, cute he in his little purple little collar, peppy, right? Polo, mm, whatever. <laughs> yeah, hiding the the brightness of his skin, um, <laughs> according to Rose. But she gets uh, uh, an interesting task that she gets to kind of divvy up the girls. So uh, Portia then gets to play cricket, um, which is a major sport, obviously in the UK. Um, and uh, some of them get to kind of help, you know, with the tea kind of situation. So she actually picks um, herself, and then she also picks uh, Andrea and Karina to do that. And um, Andrea is a little, little hot about that. Like yeah. she didn't really like that, and she kind of showed kind of the whole time, like how displeased she was. Um, did you guys pick up on that? Oh yeah, I mean to totally. And yeah. I think that's where she shot herself in the yes. foot. I mean, if we you know. Yes. Thinking about it a little bit early in the show, you know, right. it's just, it's just a little, yeah, she was just a little bratty mm -hmm. about it. They yeah. all immediately turned bratty. It was immediately, it was a Andrea and then it was um, uh, Megan. Right. They were just immediately, and I was yes. just like, gosh, I don't really want Yeah, Rose I, was, was, I wasn't rooting for them. I wasn't right. on board with them. Right. No, yeah. She was, Rose was in a lose lose because no matter what she did or no matter who she picked, Nobody like, was. no one no, was going to be course. happy with of it. Of course. And that's the point I wanted to make earlier, just kind of about Rose, is that I think her attitude's kind of shifting because I think she's becoming like, wants to be a girl's girl mm -hmm. instead of like being you know trying to win him over i think she's kind of playing down her personality a little mm. bit and you know you saw her say sorry when megan got upset megan gave her the dirtiest face and was like really right. like i hate sports right and rose was like sorry 
And Sorry. Then, and funny, she felt bad. Yeah, and then funny thing after that, Megan immediately after she said, "Oh, I enjoy it. I get to spend more time right. with you." I'm like, "Gosh, you're, you're just <laughs> like it. you're not happy." <laughs> Make up your mind. Well, I, know. I think too. I think it's a it's an interesting um, dynamic as well because these girls, you know, they're there in the situation. They want to put their best foot forward, you know, in front of you know Prince Harry, um, but at the same time, they're still trying to be themselves. So I think as he's in the situation where he's trying to you know go between this facade he's putting out and his real self. I think they're doing the same thing because if you think about it at the end of the day everyone anyone would be unhappy if you had to be the help you couldn't play cricket cricket you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying so but you have to kind of show face and be like hey um, I'm, I'm really excited about doing this and wearing an apron and serving you guys where you guys play because that's what he wants to see yeah. and you know she didn't Andrea didn't do a good job at it obviously she could have immediately flipped the game mm -hmm. and put it in her favor, but she didn't, right. like you said. She did not. She could have put in a smiley face, and mm -hmm. he would have been like, oh, you know, I really do like this girl. Right. She just made, you know, lemonade out of lemons. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I think this is where the girls, I'm, like, wondering if they're being a little bit, like, too much themselves. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, they seem to have gotten very comfortable very fast. Mm -hmm. And... <laughs> They, there, there's no filter. You know, it, whether they think he's the prince or don't think he's the prince, like they're completely showing themselves. If they're mad, you're gonna see. Mm -hmm. If they're upset, you're mm -hmm. gonna see. If they want to drink, you're gonna see. Like, mm -hmm. and that for me is very weird to grasp because you know you're on television. Not only right. are, do you think this is the prince, but right. I don't know. How for me, that's. Really? It, are you just being yourself a little too early? Maybe on. I don't know. Well, I think that's a, um, an interesting segue. Mm -hmm. um, before we get into that, um, I do want to shout out iTunes. iTunes is a wonderful invention, <laughs> and we use it here at AfterBuzz all the time. We all actually, day. you can download our podcast. Um, we have over 70 shows that we do here, and we're also in over 100 countries. So uh, you want to download our podcast. You want to give us five stars. Five stars, at because least. that's perfect. Yeah, Cinco. well, <laughs> you, you, that's the most you can get, but at least give us five stars. That means you give us a five star. <laughs> um, but it's great, and we want you to do that. And it's free. I mean, that's like the magic word, right? Free 99. Yeah, free 99. So, you know who else I think likes free things? Um, <laughs> I think Maggie. Um, oh. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna call this the Maggie segment, Maggie um, segment. because I think she deserves her own like shine right now. I agree. Um, Maggie throughout this episode uh, was just a work of art, um, literally because she was so tan and <laughs> and so like really inebriated for the, I mean I just want to let you guys loose. I mean, <laughs> starting with you, Mr. Aaron, please shed light on Miss Maggie. Miss Maggie, I, I mean, it's it's just like a, it's like a weird relationship. Yeah. It's just where I'm just like sometimes I'm just like rubbing my temples, like oh my god, Maggie, what are we doing? But then I love it and I'm eating up everything because yeah. it's just a grand source of entertainment, right? And she is actually starting uh, uh, kind of a fork in the road for the girls mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm. I mean, as we see, you know, it was kind of going on next step, but she kind of started the drama with her whole drinking thing, and so it's kind of like a blessing in disguise. It's like oh, Maggie. You know, for as far as yourself, you know, you're just like it's just this weird image you're having being right. broadcast on, you know, for all of America. Right. But it's so good and it's so funny and I yeah. love it. And I don't know, I just love Maggie. <laughs> I don't want her to stop changing and being who she is. <laughs> I want to go party with her. Actually, you, it, she <laughs> seems like she would be a great person to party with. She definitely does. Yeah, I, I think know. she kind of since the first show, this is how she's going to be portrayed throughout the entire. Whether if, if this is actually how she is, this is or not, this is how, this is how production will portray her. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, you know what I'm saying? So no matter what, like this is the image she picked up because her little mistake on the first night uh -huh. and drinking way too much. Uh -huh. So now she's been pinpointed for the girl who drinks too much uh -huh. and she's going to get the focus on absolutely every single episode. But you know what, Maggie? If you're watching this, run with it. Run with Whoa. it. Run Own it. because you can have a cocktail if you want. Exactly, <laughs> because it's just it makes her such entertainment, and she's getting so much time on camera. Like they always cut to her like, doing something, just something, <laughs> something weird, <laughs> yeah, uh, off-putting. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's 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 endless. I I'm I'm just curious uh, because you know she had her girl uh, Jackie step up for her mm -hmm. uh, towards the end there after they actually did the elimination, yeah. uh, which we had talked about. They said, hey, why is it you know eliminate so early? We knew something was coming up, and that was it. Yeah. Um, they had this kind of blow up situation where um, Jackie is having this heart to heart with Maggie, and uh, like she's you know that's my friend. You know we are drinking buddies. I got your back, girl. All this kind of stuff. But she kind of is you know defends her to the other girls who she deems the mean girls mm -hmm. um do you think that maggie is hiding something like i mean in herself do you think she's hiding something do you think there's some pain there or do you think she's just really a party girl like i mean i know it's early to kind of tell her personality but do you think that that's the situation 
Well, Jackie did. Jackie started the conversation with saying that she mm -hmm. was insecure. Right. Like, she was like, you know, not every girl here is secure as you girls are, and you guys are, like, pinpointing her, and you're making her feel bad, and mm -hmm. that's why you're the mean girls. So, you know, maybe there is a little bit of insecurity going on there. Mm -hmm. I mean... Something that probably Jackie knows, mm -hmm. but um, that hasn't really been shown on camera, you know, right. like shown to the audience members. That they so may they, have talked it, about. They may have talked about it separately, and then mm -hmm. the producers Very probably true. like, this is just not, you know, of interest, interest to us. But I, I, I kind of think it's almost like, what's more interesting is the development of these girls. Not necessarily the, the reality dating aspect of it. It's just mm -hmm. more so how they're handling the news and each other. That's what's mm -hmm. making me more interested. And now that they have kind of these sides of these mean girls, it kind of... It almost puts Megan and um, Annalisa mm -hmm. kind of in that little evil pedestal now. Mm -hmm. And so I'm kind of wondering what's going to happen, you know? Well, I think customary. I mean, I've, I've seen a lot of these reality type shows mm -hmm. when there's women trying to seek the suitor of a person. Um, the first one that I ever watched was Flavor of Love, which is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> shout that out. But I think there's always, after a certain time, there is a divide in the house. Uh, and I think you do have the mean girls and you have the girls that are, you know, really trying to, you know, win the person's affection or whatever, how they say it. So I think that this divide is happening. And I think it, it's a great point that you made that, you know, it's going to happen. And yeah. I think anytime you have women that are vying for something, there's going to be some size to be taken. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think <laughs> our beautiful Maggie, <laughs> she just doesn't know what side she's on right now because she just is in this state of like, I'm just going to keep drinking and I'm just going to keep mm. drinking. <laughs> I'm here to have a good time because there are some people that take for what it is. Look, when am I else going to be in the UK? When else am I going to be in a castle? When else am I going to be dating what they think is a prince? Right. I'm going to live it up. I'm going to party. I'm going to have a good time. When in Rome, right? And, right. To, and that, but that's what makes her likable though, right. and and makes it just much more enjoyable. And just, I mean, she's just becoming like a, co a comedic aspect of the show, just right. on her own, just being herself. And for me personally, when I almost, I was actually expecting all the other girls to come to her defense uh -huh. when they were kind of making it, but instead they were all like super serious about they it, were. like look, giving her dirty looks. Right. And Jackie was really the only one that came to her defense. And I was thinking in my head, like, man, wouldn't all these girls stand up and kind of like, you know, oh, she's just drunk, you know, she just right. happened, but. But no, you wonder, like, how much this has kind of been going on. You know, we only, like, there's this so much footage, and sure. we see so, so they could be so fed up with it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, who knows what's been going on night after night? Mm -hmm. Who knows, like, how many times they've been consoling her? Right. So, I mean, it's one of those things where it's just what you're going to see on TV, and that's what you have to take for it. Yeah. But, I mean, I'm trying to give her a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> you know, some, someone, like, the girls, I don't want to think that they're that mean, that they're really right. just going to bully her, but... Tracy's team Maggie. That's what you're saying. You're I team mean, Maggie. I'm not team Maggie, but oh, I hate no, seeing no. people get bullied. Like, it's so, like, right. I don't like to think anyone's getting bullied. It's, like, the worst thing ever. So I would hope that, you know, it's been, like, they're trying to help her out. Right. Yeah. By saying drink water, by right. saying eat food. Like, I just hope it is for her benefit. And I think at the end of the day, this is a competition. And I think mm -hmm. anytime you can weed somebody out or put blame on someone or try to put someone out there to be eliminated, I think you're going to do that. And I think there are some girls that are going to take advantage of that and capitalize on that. Mm -hmm. And if they can let her self-destruct, so to say, you know, or let, you know, um, Matt see her in that state and be like, oh, I don't want to be with someone like that, then they'll just let it happen. You know, obviously Jackie is defending her and I appreciate that she's doing that because she's showing that she's a true friend and she cares about her genuinely. But the other girls, of course, they're like, well, let her just self-destruct. And I think that's where they're at. Right. You know, just whatever. Um, so let's jump back in. Um, I'm going to tell you who my favorite is. Um, <laughs> and my favorite is uh, the one that first person that he chose um, to go on a little, you know, rendezvous with. Um, and that was, uh, let's see. Karina? Karina, yes. Karina's so beautiful. Yeah. Can we just, her eyes. Um, I was mesmerized when she was talking. And um, I was just like, I would date Karina. Um, so I'm going to act so like. So Karina, if you're listening can in. I, can I be in the next episode? Mary Harry, I'll just, you know, put on I some more. Right. <laughs> it's a side I just, show. I mean, yeah, spin off. Why not? You know what I'm saying? But I really like Karina. I think, I think she has a lot going for her. I think when she was having the conversation um, and they were talking, she had a lot of good points. Uh, Karina, I remember in the last episode, she was the one. She's like the hopeless romantic. You know, she's the one that just, you know, she's in love with being in love. And and I'm that way, too. So I think that's where our vibe is mm. and our bond is. And so uh, I'm just saying that, you know, <laughs> um, but she she seems like a good person. She mm -hmm. seems like, I mean, genuine. Um, I haven't seen her really kind of wild out yet. You know, of course, it's still early. We don't know what editing has done, but they haven't shown her to be that type of person. So, I mean, what do you guys think? 
I'm still, I'm just not like, I wouldn't say I was a team Karina uh-huh. because I haven't really seen her. We had that little segment and she spoke a little Spanish and that was it. She's <laughs> she's, be- she's beautiful. <laughs> she's, Why are you hating? I don't, I don't know. I just spoke a little Spanish. She's, like, like, she's about nothing. He's like not impressed. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm so all. not impressed. I think I'm still stuck on Leah. That's what it is. Oh. It's like, I know, Leah was just like, she was beautiful and she was sincere. She's gone. But it's more, she's yeah, gone, I know, Aaron. I gotta she's let gone. it go. I gotta move on. Um, I just haven't seen enough from Karina. Right. You know, it, it's it's one thing for a person to be um, strikingly beautiful on the right. outside. It's another thing for them to be a genuine person on the inside. Right. So. And you don't think she's genuine, Aaron? I don't or, know. Are you trying to say? I don't know. I mean, I'm not trying to say she's not genuine. Okay. But <laughs> I'm just saying. It's my girl. Uh, I, I will liked, mess with her. I liked her. I liked Karina. I. Uh-huh. I think it's really weird. She. I didn't see her in the first episode at all. I really when she yeah. popped up on this yeah. one. I'm like. Oh hey girl, where'd you come from? Right. Like I she feel was like definitely I would Yeah, she didn't get like she hardly any camera the, time. Yeah, she right. got no camera time. So right. I was like, oh, you're kind of interesting. Like, and she has a good look, a good look. She seems mm-hmm. like she has a good vibe, but mm-hmm. just like AA Ron said, <laughs> right. I just don't know her well enough, so I can't quite be on her team. I'm still okay. kind of a like Annalisa fan, so mm. I like her. I don't know. Okay. Like I said, uh, but see Annalisa, I feel like she's turning, taking a turn to the dark side what? with this whole Megan thing. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's interesting. I mean, I think everyone. I mean. Again, going back to the history of these shows, I think everyone's going to have a dark side. Yeah. I think that's just what it is because you're vying for this person's affection, unless you don't care about what's going on. But I think everyone's going to have a dark side because whenever you get, to, you know, people start getting eliminated, it starts getting closer and closer, you're vying for time, there's jealousy that happens because, oh, he got a date longer than me and all this kind of stuff. So you're going to see it. You know, it just depends on who's going to be early or not. Right. You know, and Annalise, I think, is showing hers now. Yeah, you know, yeah. very true. Um, but speaking of uh, going back to the dark, um, mm-hmm. because of her dark, Jacqueline, Jackie, uh, he was the next person that she he kind of took over. Um, what did you think her present was? Her presentation was for him. What do you mean? Like how she presented her when he was having her out uh, and she, her. they were talking. Um, she didn't really get a whole lot of time. Yeah. But do you think like he was impressed with her? I guess that's the question I want to know. He did say like that she kind of left him wanting more, like mm-hmm. wanting to know a little more. She mm-hmm. had like a little something about her. Mm, um, right. I, yeah, I think he kind of likes a mysterious kind of. He does. You know, like I think that's kind of like what he's kind of going to go for. Like I didn't get to know, um, get to know you well enough. He definitely doesn't like bad attitudes. That's one thing that we know is he does not like bad attitudes. So if you have a bad attitude right. in front of him, it's, stay yeah, alive. Just get just, up out of here. Yeah, He's over exit. it. He's Take over that it. helicopter back to America. <laughs> Go. Because you're gone. I'm, Go. I'm almost, because he, did he mention her, um, Jackie and Andrea kind of together? And I was almost mm-hmm. thinking, I almost thought like maybe he might send her home for a moment. That's mm-hmm. what I was kind of thinking. And I'm also kind of wondering what's going on in his head in the sense of of, of that, you know, as like, mm-hmm. you know, like regarding Jackie, like, why didn't he kind of put her in the forefront, you know? Because mm-hmm. um, I guess, I mean, I guess, um, I mean, what was her, Kim, Kimberly, she made, he, she made a bigger impression. Is that what right. it really was going on? Yeah. Yeah. I think I, so. I'm just kind of, I'm also still thinking of what he's planning in on his head. Like, I wonder if he's kind of, as he's talking to these girls, he's thinking, which girl can I talk to mm-hmm. um, and take on my, on a date, and I can handle her on my own? Right. You know, I, he does, I don't think he wants to take on a big, you know, heavy no. personality right away. No. So. And I th- and I think he likes uh, the like you said. I think he likes mysterious because I think it's it's better for him to handle. I don't think he's into somebody that's really really like. I think he was a little uncomfortable going back to Rose. Rose was pretty aggressive. Yeah. And yeah. I think he was. A, I mean, he was playing it good. But I think he was a little, little un- uncomfortable. I don't mm-hmm. think that's his regular speed. Right. You know what I'm saying? As far as like girls he would go to on a normal basis. Yeah. Um, so, and I think that's why he liked um, Jacqueline for her mysterious. Yeah. He, he made that comment. Um, which goes to uh, kind of towards the end when he's, you know, picking who he's going to choose. Um, he picks Andrea and he picks uh, Kimberly. Mm-hmm. Um, I knew he was going to pick Andrea, but Kimberly, I was a little. I, I, I didn't understand why he picked her, and I was kind of thinking the whole time until I was like, he likes the mysterious because she's still been mysterious for him. Mm-hmm. Um, she's the one that's from, um, she's from New York, Long Island, um, and she's kind of has that, you know, kind of rough and tough. Um, I'm from the city, you know, um, kind of, <laughs> you know, she, she yeah. has that look like kind of just down to earth, you know what I'm saying? She doesn't really put herself out there like that. Um, so I think that's why he picked her uh, as one of the persons, but, you know, he picks Andrea, and we all were kind of talking as we were watching, like, oh, I think she might be the one to go home. Yeah. So, I mean, did you guys think, th- I mean, come on. I was, 
I was I almost got I got a little scared because I thought he was gonna send Kimberly home uh-huh. and or and I was just then thinking like oh please don't keep Andrea yeah yeah um not in the sense of like anything bad it's just the the way she showed herself in that la- those last events I was just like you know out of them two I prefer Kim to stay so I was a little scared you were but then he I mean, he chose Andrea and I was like a right, right. good choice right and then after as it started unfolding we saw a little bit more of Kim and. I started realizing she's a genuine person. Mm-hmm. She's a nice person. She was so amazed at the closet when she right. opened it and saw the robe <laughs> uh-huh, yeah. and the additional blankets. And right. so, and the additional blankets. Yeah, the, the extra, there wasn't and the extra just hangers. One. And the extra hangers. Yeah, the extra hangers. There wasn't one. There was two. In case she got a little cold. Right. Aww. But, um,. So I, I was happy with that decision. Right. As soon as I got to see her, because yeah, in the beginning it was mysterious, but then as right. she got more camera time, then you were just like, oh, like I don't know, I'm a sucker for people that are just genuine and mm-hmm. nice. And so when I every time I see that, I'm just like, oh, yeah. that's so nice. Yeah. You know? No, but, I, I I agree with you. Um, I was glad once he kind of was talking with her and you know got to a little more, and like you said, after he actually picked her, yeah, uh, as the person to stay and go into the suite, and the way she was just very like, oh my gosh, like mm-hmm. you could tell that this is the first time she's probably stayed in a hotel. The way she, <laughs> I mean, the, I mean, not hating on her, but no, I didn't, I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. But she was just so happy and so like grateful she, for the extra hangers and the two blankets. Like, no, she was, she, she was. was, she was, and I and I felt good. I felt good for her. You know, I just was Rose would have left the room earlier like why are you still there like why are you still there that was an awkward exchange that was so weird Rose was hanging on to every moment like Like she could be in that room she's just like oh oh just send you off right I'm just Rose you don't need to send anybody off like yeah you don't like not the welcoming committee like you just be gone get up out of here for a moment I thought they were both gonna stay in the room and I was gonna be like well that's hey you're coming in good right you're bunk beds yeah we're gonna make it happen she got her backpack and she walked out I was like oh okay cool then that's what's going on no I don't think that was supposed to happen. I think Rose was really hanging on, literally, to the corner of the bed. She was like, okay, I'm trying to go. Are you sure you want to stay here? Right, it's really cold in here. Like, I mean, she did, but... Either way, I'm glad that you know Kimberly got that shine. Yeah, so, I liked. I, can I? I want to say something about her. Please. I really liked at the end when she was just like, "I must have done something right. Like I did something right." And mm-hmm. for me, it was kind of taking it back. Like, I don't think she was talking about him. I think she was talking about in general, just mm-hmm. appreciating the moment that she was in, like the opportunity to be where she was. And right. you know, I really liked that. And I think that like showed me a little bit about her character that like right. I wouldn't have otherwise seen. Like you know, I did something right in right. life. You know. So that to me, I liked. I liked her for that. Um, no, that was good. But I like. I'm kind of sad. Andrea went home. Like, she. I feel like she's had a bad moment, and mm-hmm. they caught it. And mm-hmm. unfortunately, she had it in front of him because right. she was have, being like a sourpuss, like how we all get sometimes. Mm-hmm. I don't think she should have gone home. But it was interesting to see her crying, and she said she was so upset. Not because she was really going home, but because she's so competitive. Mm. And so she felt like she lost. Right. Like she was in a game and she lost. And so she was crying before when she right. walked in because she, she knew what it was. She knew what it was. Yeah. Well, she's the one that has the pageant history. Right. She's the pageant She said girl. she's been a runner up, you know, Every like all, all the time. Didn't win, but runner up. Uh, and so now to like go like early, that's mm-hmm. like failure for her. Right. Um, and so, like you said, she's very competitive. Yeah. Um, but again, I think that's good that she went because. If you're just in it for the competition and not in it for love, then, you know, you need to go. Yeah. I mean, really. Right. right? You know, I mean, that is the point of the show. Yeah. Right. Obviously, you have to be competitive for the person. But I think she was competitive in this. sense. Like I said, it wasn't disappointing. Like, oh, I really liked him. Mm-hmm. Oh, I just went home. And that's embarrassing. The girls beat me. Right. Exactly. And I'm not the runner up today. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think it's good to kind of segue into um, our news and gossip um, section. Uh, After and, uh, TV yes. News. Uh, so, um, Mr. Aaron, can you please uh, shed some light on the news and gossip today? Yes, yes, yes. We talked a little bit earlier about Leah. Mm-hmm. And funny thing is, um, Leah's actually on her Twitter. She retweeted that Vanity Fair wrote a little article about mm-hmm. her. And Vanity Fair was asking a lot of questions that we are asking. Like, one of them, are they going to call him sir the whole time? Mm. They were also asking, um, <laughs> they asked one funny one, will that con- one contestant who's pre-med in cell and molecular biology ever make a comment that she doesn't involve her reminding us that she's a pre-med in cell? <laughs> and molecular biology. She didn't have anything this episode. No. At all. No. But I know. The funny thing is, is though, is this is where I wanted to talk back to it. Is they said, why was Leah on this show? 
And then they said Leah was so great, gorgeous. Jessa from Girls meets Caroline Bissett Kennedy kind of a way. She was an audience stand-in of sorts, rolling her eyes at the hair straightener, worshipping fake eyelash flaunting fellow contestants. She was awkward, adorable when dancing with Matt, which Matt construed as a lack of excitement, but which seemed to us more like endearing nerves. Mm. That's the reason why I'm still on Team Leah. And that, for me... That Vanity Fair article, it just kind of centers a whole other um, kind of alternate theme around I want to marry Harry. It's like mm-hmm. that whole genuine thing like, mm-hmm. what do these girls want out of all this, you know? And and um, why why knock out the ones that were genuine like Leah, you know? I was That's why I was scared Kim was going to go home, mm. you know, because I thought she was one of the genuine girls. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, she stayed on, thank goodness. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it's kind of one of those things. It's like all these girls, like, do you really want love? Mm-hmm. You know, what is this just for more attention, you know? Mm-hmm. And, and, like... Almost as if, um, I mean, goodness, we just talked about her right now. Um, <laughs> and- Andrea. Andrea, yes. Yeah, Andrea. After she left, I mean, what did we, you know what I mean? It's just like, oh, I, I didn't win in a competition. You know what I mean? Right. Like, you know, and right. it was just like, was that really all the reason you were here for? Right. And just for that, you right. know? So I kind of feel like Vanity Fair, in a sense, was kind of asking some good questions about that whole subject of the show and Lee and all that stuff. Oh, and one more thing on that. Mm-hmm. The Megan Jones Instagram. She oh. kind of, she dropped a little yeah. bomb on us that mm. I'm a little upset about. That was like a big bomb. It was of. a big bomb. If you guys actually check out the Megan Jones Twitter, you might be able to still see the picture where she said, um, oh, just watching the premiere with Babe. Who's Babe? Did you win the competition, Megan? Who was Did the picture just, with? Yeah, mm. the picture. Oh, sorry, with Matt Hicks. Sorry, mm. Matt Hicks. Babe was Matt yeah, Hicks. Yeah, Matt H- Babe was Babe Matt Hicks. Why mm. did she say that? So mm. I don't know. I imagine Fox would make her rescind that comment, but yeah, still. yeah, we thought she had deleted it, and then we got yeah. back on it. It's still there, guys. Uh, it's still so there. Check so it check out. it on out. Check it out. Yeah, I'll be very disappointed if she is the person <laughs> and she just ruined the entire show. And <laughs> we're here for nothing. Yeah, yeah. we're here. <laughs> Nothing. But that's but it almost makes me wonder if this show's gonna take a weird turn. Mm. You know, like it's saying it once I thought that Vanity Fair was asking all these, you know, general questions. Are they always right. gonna call him sir? Mm-hmm. Where is this show gonna turn? Is it it gonna end up being about, you know, him finding one mm-hmm. winner, or is midway these girls gonna figure out it's mm-hmm. not Prince Harry and mm-hmm. how's the show gonna progress from that? I, I would find that more in- and I wanna see that happen. Mm-hmm. That well, would be really interesting. Okay, so I read an article on LA Times mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. it was basically saying how these girls are so interested in this because We were brought up to be Disney princesses. We grew up with the Mm. Disney era. We Mm. know Cinderella, Ariel. We've watched this over and over. So Mm. this is literally like our dream. Mm -hmm. And so they're just saying, you know, these girls are so interested. They're so intrigued because this is every little girl's fantasy come true. Yeah. And I just thought that was so interesting that, you know, if they, if this was literally like, no, if they knew this was Matt Hicks in their very beginning, no one would even be here. Right. But the fact that they think it's a prince and it might be, they're pulling at straws. Whether mm-hmm. they don't, okay, maybe it's not Prince Harry, but he's a brother of royalty's <laughs> sons, nephews, husband. Like, right. they're finding any common thing they can that mm-hmm. he's somehow royalty and that can right. somehow be their fairy tale ending. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. interesting. Well, thank you for the news and gossip. Um, now we're going to go into. <laughs> Antenna's back on. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. So um, we kind of gave some things away um, as far as how we felt about you know certain individuals and whatnot. But um, and, and I'll start with you, uh, Tracy. Um, I want to know your predictions as far as like who do you think is going to maybe get into the suite next, and then who do you think is going to go home next? Well. I kind of, I'm interested to see what happens with Karina. Mm -hmm. Um, I do think, you know, she was very chill with him. They Mm -hmm. had a nice little talk. So if I did say anyone, I'm going to say Karina. Yeah, I'm sorry, Annalisa, you're my girl, but I think Karina. And as far as to go home, I I would think he would take, send Maggie home, but she Mm -hmm. is just too interesting. I do not think they're going to let her leave. So even if he says, I want to send her home, they're going to be like, nope. Nope, "Nope, she needs to stay. I don't think I I I want her to leave. I don't want her to leave either. (laughs) She probably should. She should make her exit, but I don't know. I think she's going to stick around. So I don't really know. I don't know. Megan, I like... I think they're going to show a different side of her. I don't Mm -hmm. think she's going to be like the mean girl throughout the entire thing. If Mm -hmm. she does, then... Boo, no team Megan, because right. that's just, like I said, I don't like bullies. But No um, bullying here. No bullying. But, yeah, so I don't know. I think Karina, and then to go home, I really don't know. I mm. really, really don't know. Hmm. Aaron? 
I, I honestly have no idea who would go home. And um, I think the next person after that, I think yeah, I think it might be Karina too. Uh-huh. I think he might have some little interesting thing about her. He might bring her up to the the suite again, and maybe hopefully Kim won't give her an awkward entrance, right. <laughs> taking her backpack. <laughs> But as far as somebody going home, I feel like it's just still up in the air. I feel yeah. like he really decides he was going to send home, like, like right, right, right before. before. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, like it was just it took a little something for him to deceive Andrea. Like really, he was mm-hmm. like, all right, I like you know, if we look back. So I feel like it's just going to be really at the last, you know, towards the end of the episode, they're really going to figure it out. But right. yeah, I can't think of anything. It's right. like a tough game. <laughs> it is. It is. And I think it's kind of early. It's kind of yeah. early. Yeah. Uh, I just want to say that um, I'll give you guys your money later. But thank you for <laughs> picking my girl Karina um, <laughs> as the front runner um, for next episode. Because, I mean, I think, like I said before, um, you know, we showed a small conversation. Mm-hmm. But I think it was a good conversation. I think she had a lot of good things to say. And she's freaking gorgeous. Yeah, you know, she's a gorgeous eyes. girl. I'm just amazing. Yeah. So, I mean, if he has any sense... In his redheaded head, you know that hair of his. I mean, he would he would want to get to know her better, you know, and put her in the suite. Yeah. You know what though? Now that I'm thinking about yeah. it, just a little bit back to the episode. Yeah. I feel like this drama is gonna actually um, influence his decision. Mm-hmm. Because remember how the camera kept cutting back to him and he was listening, listening to all the sources of information that was going on. Like mm-hmm. she's so mean to us, and every, and it would always pan to him, and he's just sitting there like listening. listening. So I wonder how that's going to come into effect. You know, maybe it's the next day. Is he going to come up and bring up all this right. stuff to them? Well, they didn't really, you know, allude to that in the yeah. preview. So, but it'll be interesting because I think some of that is going to play. He's going to have to hear some of these things. And I think if anything is going to be the demise for anybody, it's going to be our girl Maggie. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of that, what we heard this last time, was about centered around Maggie and her drinking. And they were yelling and kind of fighting over that. So that could be an indicator of her possibly leaving because that's the only way I could see him you know letting her go is if she did something in front of him right. that caused yeah. him to turn him off yeah mm-hmm. that's the only thing so but anyway that is our show for today we are so glad that you joined us um, of course you got to tune in next week because it's just gonna get better and better um, I'm your host Lim Gonzalez you can find me at um, the poet saint and that's on Instagram Twitter and Facebook. Aaron, where can they find you? You can find me on Twitter at AAMO Music or on Instagram AAMO9013. All right. And you can find me at on Instagram <laughs> at, I don't even know, T R A C I P R O or on Twitter at T R A C I A B T V. Word. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week. From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here, and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.